Alright, let's give this a shot. Hey, this is Jared, and today we're going to be doing a daily devotional. It's gonna be great. Let's get to it. Alright, this one's a winner. We're geared up, ready to go. So, in, in lieu of the normal videos that I usually do, uh, today is going to be all about, we're going to read a passage, and I'm going to give my thoughts on it, we're going to go through a devotional together. I really do think it's important, uh, and of course, I'm a crazy morning person, like, I have the most energy in the morning hours, like, I wake up out of bed night, and I'm going, like, it's, it's go, go, go. Uh, for the rest of the day. Um, and so I think it's so important to start this time, this daily time off, with a bang, with something that's going to get you in the mindset to be productive and to go into your day um, f feeling like this is going to be a good day. <laughs> so uh, I, that's why I really am a big advocate for daily devotionals. I have my personal daily devotionals. Um, that are scripture based and then on top of that I also supplement those scriptural devotionals from the from the Bible and then with some commentary um, with an intellectual devotional uh, and of course right now I'm going through a health one it's got you know passages about the mind and about science and and uh, uh, pharmaceuticals and you know all kinds of cool stuff where you learn about parts of the brain and it, it really is fun but I just think that if you have never done something like this, maybe watching these and, and uh, of course we're on day four of Vlogtober right now, so maybe watching these devotionals that it, the plan is to do them on Tuesdays and Thursdays, maybe these devotionals are going to encourage you to start a regimen of your own, a system of your own where maybe in the morning time, if that's where you have the most energy, um, that you get out your Bible or you pick up a devotional kind of like what I've got whatever works for you and then you read um, and you get your mind and, and focused and engaged um, and of course if that's at the end of the day then that's fine too if that's where you feel like you need it then hey that's <laughs> more power to you whenever you feel like it's time for you to focus if you really need to wind down at the end of the day and so maybe a, a 9 30 devotional is the thing for you or an 11 o'clock p.m devotional is the thing for you or if a 5 a.m devotional is the thing for you whatever it is that is going to get you the most impact out of reading passages um, and then and then getting focused and your mind engaged on on purpose uh, and leading a purpose-driven uh, existence. I think that's a great thing to start if you haven't already. So let's get right into this without further ado. This is day four of Vlogtober. We're doing a daily devotional. Today's daily devotional comes out of Hebrews chapter 2, verse 9. I'm reading out of the ESV. But we see him who for a little while was made lower than the angels. His name was Jesus, crowned with glory and honor because of the suffering of death, so that, by the grace of God, he might taste death for every one. This is the word of God for the people of God. So, Hebrews chapter 2, verse 9. It's interesting, these are just my, I've thought about this a little bit, I've already read this, the scripture, and I've, and I've had the chance to think about it, and so maybe you are also thinking about the words of this passage yourself. But for me, what sticks out is this idea of Jesus being made low. We very rarely see in Scripture, there are occurrences of it, but we very rarely hear about Jesus and his lowliness. Um, and I think several of you are going to disagree with me. But the reason I say that is because most of the time when we hear the, the words, Jesus was made low, even by Paul, um, then it's immediately followed by the words, and is exalted, right? By him, something, 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 and he was made the greatest, right? So it's, it's uh, for, for our sake he died, and then he was made the, to sit at the right hand of, of God the Father Almighty, right? Like, that's the progression. We very rarely see a standalone verse where it just says, Remember, Jesus was lowly. Of course, he did things that we immediately know the truth of this passage. Um, the one that comes to mind instantly is, is the time that he washed the disciples' feet. 
And of course, Peter, you know, says, uh, no, you know, I'm, I'm not going to let you do that. And he goes, well, then if you're not going to let me do this, you have, you can have no part of me, right? Like you cannot be my follower if you're not going to let me do this for you. And he, and then he goes, well, let, you know, he, he, okay, I'm getting off track here. Uh, he eventually says, oh, well then that's fine, but why don't you watch the whole of me? Because the feet aren't enough, you know? And he goes, no, 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 you're missing the point. But anyway, there are instances where we know this is truth. God was made lowly in the form of Jesus, but very rarely do we really think of it in terms of a ranking system. Do you know how lucky you are to be a human? I mean, really, have you thought about the odds of you just being a human at this time in Earth's history? What are the odds that you were going to be born you? And we realize immediately, if you ever think about it in terms of, in those terms, you've already won. You've won the, the equivalent of several lotteries in one lifetime. Just being born and just being you. I really do believe that. Like, it's astonishing. And when you put it in context like that, it makes you really thankful really fast. And then, when you compound that idea with the idea of this ranking system, that God was made low in the form of Jesus, that God took from himself a part of the Trinity, sent it to earth to live in the dirt, to grind, to be human. He was made, what this passage says, lower than the angels. We hear that several times uh, in the scriptures. But lower than the angels. He was in a, in a place of, uh, of an exalted position as far as ranking is concerned. And then he was demoted to the status of humanity. So what does that look like for us? What does that mean for us? Think of it in these terms. How about we switch gears here a little bit. Think of these, this ranking system and think of like at, in a global sense. Like right now, have you ever really thought, where do I sit in this global ranking system? Because oftentimes we get down in the dumps about our situation. We get caught up in the, in the micro of, oh, I'm not making as much money as this person that I know. I'm not being as successful as this person that I know. I um, I'm, I'm, you know, don't have the things, I mean, the stuff, right? The things that people are going after, right? These, these ideas of what, of what success and purpose look like in our lives. But if you ever stop and think, realistically, I'm, I'm talking about like you're really being honest with yourself and self-aware. There is somebody sitting in all the billions of people that are on the planet, they're sitting in last place. Like, that is a reality. If there is a ranking system that exists in the world, there is someone in last place, and I guarantee you, if you have the fortune of listening to this right now, it's not you, right? No matter what your situation is, it's probably not you. Those are the, it's, you know, it's somebody somewhere else in, you know, oh, Eastern Asia or, 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 you know, in, uh, I don't know, in Antarctica or something, like one of the three or four people that live up there. I don't, I really don't know where they exist. They're, they're probably, you know, locked up and they are, you know, malnourished and they are diseased and they are, and they are, and they are this, 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 this. And if you think of it in those terms where, and you're being really self-aware and thinking, okay, where in that ranking system am I? Not just that I'm not in last place, but where am I? Then you'll realize really quickly, and you'll get humbled really quickly, that I have no room to complain today. Like there's somebody in dead last place, and I'm sitting at the top echelon of the ranking system. I've got nothing to complain about. And I think about that on a daily basis, that I put, I put myself in that mindset and think, I've got a roof over my head, I've got clothes on my back, I've got food in my belly, I've got coffee, right? And it's like, yes, let's go. Uh, I've got the time to read, to communicate, to uh, do what I want to do. And there are people out there who don't have those privileges. So it just makes me really grateful and really humbled and, 
and it really makes puts it in perspective and I think everyone could could use some of that today and I think that's part of what this passage out of Hebrews is kind of trying to get us uh, to to a place of uh, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna glance over it one more time and now putting oh sorry uh, chapter uh, verse 9 but we see him who was for a little while was made lower than the angels crowned with glory and honor because of the suffering of death so that by the grace of God he might taste death for everyone now that I'm reading that I, I, I noticed that uh, this passage too has that crowned with glory and honor <laughs> so my mistake sorry about that but it still stands to reason that that he was made lower than something right he was demoted in the ranks and if he can take on the 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 humility of taking on that human form living in the dirt grinding being one of us truly and taking on the pain of sin and death like what do I have to complain about today? I don't know. And when we, when we think about things like that, I think it really gives us perspective that we need to live our lives with purpose and to live our lives with gratefulness in the truth that Jesus has, as the hymn says, paid it all and all to him I owe. Because if it weren't for that, 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 thing that he did, dying on the cross and, uh, for, and for the forgiveness of our sins, we would be going someplace else. We would not have this gift of eternal life. Just as simple as that. So let me leave with you with this benediction. Go in the knowledge that you are not in last place. With the humility that you have purpose in this life. Go with God's purpose and with his hand on the direction that you are supposed to go this week. With the knowledge that Jesus has paid it all for you and have, has paid the, paved the way, the pathway for you to go today. Go in peace.